It's my birthday week, so let's go on a road trip. Today I'm going to drive to Jeju Island, which is the biggest island here in Korea. And the only way to get there is either by plane or boat. And I'm in the car, so I've got to drive to the ferry, then we'll drive onto that ferry, and we've got to take a six-hour ferry to Jeju, and we're going to be in Jeju for a week. My boat is until like midnight, and I'm leaving super early. It's like 7 p.m. right now, but since it's my first time doing this, I want to leave early and just take my time. Also, I've got to stop by my friend's house, so let's go. This is the best view I can get with my phone mount on my dash. I can't move it, so this is the best you're gonna get. But it's an amazing view, trust. I finally made it to the passenger terminal. It's nine o'clock. That was a pretty crazy drive. For the first time in my life, I saw a raccoon dog or a tanuki or a noguri which is crazy. I've never seen one of those in real life. It looked like a little bear running across the road. I got about an hour until we get on the boat. So I'm gonna go inside, see what's going on in there. I don't need to, but I would like to find a convenience store. So let's go check it out. I think that's our boat in the distance there. That's the one we're gonna be taking. There was a convenience store inside the passenger terminal, but it's closed right now, which doesn't make sense. You'd think the convenience store would be open when everyone is here to take the ferry because it leaves at the same time every day. Now. Just wait. I have no idea if there's going to be an announcement or not, but around 9.30 I'm going to head over there and see what happens. I think I go that way, but we'll find out. Oh shit, going the wrong way. Okay, I was right. I'm in line for the boat and I'm the first in line, so things are going well. Still got like an hour to wait. There's the boat, the Ocean Vista, which is looking beautiful. These are trucks you get in Korea that transport live fish. So the back of those trucks are filled with water. So it's funny that taking live fish in a tank on a boat on the ocean. Okay, so now I'm on the boat that's going to take me to Jeju Island, and I heard about some of the facilities on this boat, but I wanted to check them out myself. But always first thing when taking a ferry or boat, familiarize yourself with the layout of the boat and find where the life vests are and any escape points. The muster station. The first thing I saw when I walked into the main area is this convenience store, which is pretty well stocked, and the restaurant, which wasn't too badly priced to be honest. Most of this boat was taken up by shared rooms and private rooms, but there was also an arcade with karaoke, and a massage chair room, which unfortunately was not free. You could also go outside and walk along the sides in the back of the boat where all the truck drivers were gathered together for a drink and a chat, and it seemed like all the drivers run into each other on this ferry quite often. But I was feeling a little hungry, and while the restaurant looked tempting, I was honestly down for some cup ramen and a beer, so to the convenience store I went. I wandered around the boat a little more, but I really need to get some sleep on this boat, so I headed to my room, and I tried my best to get as much rest as possible in the six hours on this boat. Finally in Jeju, got about five and a half hours of sleep. I feel, I feel decent. I think I'm ready for a full day. I just need some coffee now. So I'm gonna go try to find somewhere that's open at like six or seven a.m. Which for a coffee shop you would think would be normal, but in Korea coffee shops do not open till like ten or eleven a.m. So I might have to go to a convenience store. Just got off the boat, driving through Jeju City. It's my first time driving in Jeju, so I'm just being extra careful because I've never been here before, but so far it's been so good. Now I'm going to head over to the area where I'm staying, although I won't be able to check into my Airbnb until 5pm apparently, and it's currently it's almost 7am, but I've asked about early check-in. Let's see if my Airbnb host gets back to me about that. After disembarking the ferry, I took it easy for the rest of the day, starting off with some lunch, which was hejangguk, which is a hearty broth with congealed blood, noodles, and slices of brisket, which is actually far tastier than it sounds big chunk of blood. <laughs> then we stopped by this cafe by the water where I tried on some sunglasses, grabbed a nice coffee, and walked out onto the rocks to go stare at little sea critters. And of course when you're on vacation you have to go check out the local supermarket, and Nonghyup in Korea is a chain of supermarkets that sells locally grown produce, so we had to go check that out as well. 
but then I had some time to kill alone, so I decided to drive over to the beach to enjoy a non-alcoholic beverage advertised to be like beer. And then I took this scenic way back to my Airbnb to relax a little bit before dinner. Which of course, if you're in Jeju, you have to have Jeju black pork at least once. Unlike most Korean barbecue restaurants, when you have Jeju black pork, the staff usually do all the grilling for you, so you can enjoy the meat the way that they want you to. Which Jeju black pork always hits the spot. And then to end the day, of course we went to go eat some more food, which was this super crispy potato and bacon pancake, and just wind down with a glass of whiskey.